right from my dog, striking out wrong. Uh, ATL man, so um, uh, but um, you are working with Timberland. Like, what up? Yeah. That's gotta be an honor. It's a dream. It's a, it's an honor. It's a dream, privilege. Uh, you know, for a while I was doing music just off of the beats of my email. You know what I mean? Like, just really grinding. If a, a legend like Timberland to see something in me, it's a, it's a blessing. Man. So how did that even start? Excuse me for interrupting. How, no. how, how did you meet the meeting with Timberland even happen? Yeah, he had heard a record called Don't Tell Nobody while he was in L.A. Uh, he called me that night. And two days later, I was flying out to meet him. Uh, and from there, we met, sat on the couch and just talked. Like, we knew each other for years. Um, and next thing you know, I was in the studio working. And from there, he's like, you know, I really want to produce your album. Right. So it was genuine, you know. Um, just off the strength of, of my music, me grinding and and I, I asked you this off the air, but I have to ask it on the air because I, I heard I heard this rumor like years ago, and I never knew how true it was. So, but I was told that when Timberland makes his beats, he'll go into the to the booth and just make sound effects with his mouth and voice and da -da -da, and then he'll beat he'll build the beat around that. Yeah, definitely. Tim, he's so creative. Uh, I was explaining to you like uh, we were in the studio one night and. This man, he goes into the lab with the apple in his hand. You know, I'm thinking like, what you gonna do with an apple in your hand in the lab? But uh, he made a beat out of the sound. When he bit into the apple, he recorded it, and he made a beat off of that one sound alone. The beat was cold. Like, he's he's a creative genius, you know? Like, he's crazy. So he really does it. That's dope. Really I guess does. my source is pretty good. <laughs> Can we be looking for a new single? I mean, I know you got the Mexican Man, a new single, mixtape, album coming soon. Of course, uh, the album is in the works this summer. It's Think Tink. Mm -hmm. um, that's the album. Uh, my next single, I'm definitely coming for my R&B lovers. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a lot of rap out there, Ratchet Commandments, but uh, I'm definitely switching it up a little bit, giving you a taste of the R&B. The, si the single we're going to play, we're going to make it number one, Dirty Boys Countdown right now, man. So go ahead and introduce it. Yeah, y'all, it's Tink. I'm rocking out with the Dirty Boys in Atlanta. It's going up, y'all. Think Tink, man. It's Ratchet Commandments. I'm with the nine, number one. Let's go. Tink! <laughs> oh, what's up? Hey! Hey! Hi, my name is Jennifer Carlos from Cartersville. Hey, Hello. Cartersville. Jennifer, what's happening? Yes, man. I love Pink. Like, I'm like a big fan of hers. I've been looking for her since 2012. Damn, she was, and she I've was been 11. I've been looking for her to come to Atlanta, Georgia. And well, I do get well, you talk, man, well, calm down. You talking to her right now. Say what's up. Hey, Pink. Hey, baby. That's right. How you doing? That's the point. 2012. That was the very beginning, girl. I'm really, I'm a big fan of yours, like literally, I'm shaking right now. Oh, wow. Don't hurt yourself, girl. Don't catch a Caesar. Thank you, stalker. 